Uh, my name is John Hansen. I'm a professor in the Department of Neurobiology and Anatomy at the University of Rochester and the lead editor on the Netter Atlas of Human Anatomy. And I'm going to show you one of my favorite plates from the atlas. Um, there's nothing anatomically unusual about this plate. Uh, for instance, it shows a cutaway view of the left side of the face and the upper neck. Um, but what is nice about this image is it kind of brings out something that's unique to Frank Netter. And that is, he shows the humanity of the individual. It's not a cadaveric projection, but actually you get the sense that it's a living person who's just had a skin removed from his face and upper neck. And you can see the underlying structures. So the subcutaneous tissues, some of the muscles of facial expression have been removed. And we see the three major parotid glands, the parotid, or, or salivary glands, the parotid gland, the submandibular gland, and the sublingual gland. Some of the vasculature and the nervous innervation is also included in this. There's a cutaway of the lower portion of the mandible so that you can see the salivary glands, you can see uh, the submandibular duct, you can see the lingual nerve coming in, you can see the submandibular ganglion. But what is really special about this plate is the idea that this is a living person. And so you're seeing these in fresh color uh, as if someone had just peeled this off, take a look at my anatomy, and then peel the flap right back up and walk off the stage. Uh, so I think what Frank Netto tried to do in this image was always remind the viewer the humanity of the patients that physicians are dealing with. Uh, it's always a patient. While we were fascinated and intrigued by the anatomy, it all comes back to the patient and their humanity. And I think he, more than any other illustrator, was able to capture that human element of each of his images, uh, the expression on the face, the casualness of the image, the hair combed nicely behind the ear, the eyebrows raised, uh, the tongue lifted up so we can see underneath, just a very natural view. So that's why this is one of my favorite plates.